can somebody tell me what would be a first step here? How do you divide this? If you have, if you have more than one term, binomial in this case, the bottom of the fraction, how do you set this up? I have two you separate each of them, so you can have x to the third over x plus 2 minus x squared over x plus 2 and so on. You separate that if you do have only one term. I have two examples in the in the uh, take home test number uh, two, which I solved it. Look at it carefully. If you have, if you this over x only, then you were right. You would separate these x over three over x minus uh, x. So then you multiply top and bottom terms x plus two. No, anyone else wants to give me an idea? Willing, willing. Wouldn't you first put it in the Okay, you, you broke. Uh, you broke out. What, say it again. Okay, go on one more time. Okay, my speaker is breaking up. Um, wouldn't you put it in the other division form? Long division, very good. You have to put in the long division form. I already set that up here for you. You have to put in the long division. As you see, uh, x to the power of 3, x to the power of 2. Now, you notice that x is missing. See that? x is missing. So, uh, once you send the long division, it says what times x give you x cubed would be x squared. And then you distribute this x squared with x plus 2. So you would get x cubed. 2x squared. Now you have to subtract this row from this row to find the remainder. To subtract, you need to change to addition and change the sign here to the opposite sign. Then you would get minus x squared, minus 2x squared, you get minus 3x squared plus 7. I'm going to stop right here and make sure that everybody can follow up to this point. Because the rest is very uh, pretty much the same as uh, repeating the same process. So. Can I ask you to put the check mark for the name if you understand up to this point and how to find the remainder here and how to find x to the power of 2 so far? Question, anyone? No question. So you continue to say what times x give you now minus 3x squared. So obviously it would be minus 3x. Minus 3x times x would be minus 3x squared. But don't forget you need to distribute that with 2, and then again subtract, you change subtraction to addition, and change the sign, and you notice that x, 3x squared cancels. Now, we cannot add these two, we just have to carry it into the next step. So we get 6x plus 7, and then you move on to the next step. What times x give you 6? x would be 6, 6 times x would be 6x, and you multiply this one to 12, now, we will see how I got the remainder of negative 5 here. Question on that? Okay, no question. All right. The last step is to say, uh, see what times x plus 2 give you this remainder. So I made this illustration here for you. What times x plus 2 give you the remainder? So that must be a fraction. At the top of the fraction always would be the remainder. At the bottom of the fraction would be, uh, the, in this case, x plus 2, because you want to uh, reduce this x plus 2 and x plus 2, so you get this minus 5. So when you see a fraction uh, in the last term, means that's all it means you have a remainder, which would be remainder over the quotient here. So in this case, you have uh, x squared minus 3x plus 6 plus minus 5 over x plus 2. So it looks like b is the correct answer here.